Ukrainian officials say at least 20 homes and 50 apartment buildings were damaged or destroyed overnight when Russian missiles rained down on the city of Zaporizhia. Miraculously, some residents survived, rescuers pulling them from the rubble. Tamara Fedorina's 10-year-old grandson was injured in the attack. Do you see what they did, she asks. Children left without a place to live. The deadly bombardment follows Saturday's explosion on the only bridge connecting Russia to the Crimea Peninsula. It's been a key supply route for Russian military forces. Sunday, at least one lane of the bridge reopened to long lines of cars waiting to cross. This, uh... Russian President Vladimir Putin announced the bridge explosion was a terrorist attack ordered by Ukrainian special services. So far, no one has claimed responsibility, but Russia's investigative committee says the perpetrators also include Russians and other countries. In an interview with the BBC, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky said he believes the Kremlin is laying the groundwork for a possible nuclear attack. They begin to prepare their society. That is very dangerous. There's concern Putin may feel nuclear is his only option as Ukrainian troops continue to take back territory Russia illegally annexed about a week ago. In the newly liberated city of Lehman, Ukrainian national police have begun to exhume bodies from a mass grave. They estimate there are 200 civilians buried here, including children. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, Miami.